Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Knickknack Twin, and this is my cat Storm. And we want to show you what I got thrifting, but mostly going to some flea markets in Houston. And my older brother and his family gave me some Christmas presents while I was there. And I just want to show you everything I've picked up from here, there, and everywhere. eBay, Amazon. I have a lot of treasures. I want to say shout out to Jason T. Smith. Thank you for having me on Thrifty Business. And thank you everybody who subscribed. I went from 85 subscribers to 124 as the time of this filming. I basically doubled my subscribers 50%. So this is my first video since I have all of you. So um, I hope you check out some of my videos and I, I wanna know who's watching. So le leave a comment, please. I'd love to get to see who's subscribed. And without further ado, let me show you what I got in the past couple weeks. Yeah, Storm. She might be interjecting. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anyways, I want to show this first because I showed my brother a link on Facebook about these camp, you know, Campbell's soup candles. Say that three times fast. And me and my brother love food advertising. And we grew up with this commercial for Campbell's where this snowman eats some warm soup on a snowy day and he melts into a boy. And this place called Camp came out with these candles. They have a chicken noodle soup and a tomato and grilled cheese. And yeah, it's that scent of a candle. I'm not gonna open it, but my brother, after I showed him that, he said, oh look, there's only three of those camp stores in the whole country and I'm 15 minutes away. So he went there, he got me one for $25. He bought a lot of them and they're selling for like over a hundred dollars. I wish I would have gotten the chicken noodle soup, but I'm so glad I bought this one. Doesn't everybody like a tomato soup and grilled cheese? I'm just craving that cause it's cold. It's actually in the twenties right now, the past couple days. But it came with this cute little coloring book. And this is just so up my alley. I'm going to keep it for a few years at least until I want to sell it. But yeah, I wish I would have gotten the other one, but that's okay. I'm glad my brother was able to get a whole bunch of them and sell them. But yeah, what they, what's cool is when you melt it, it comes with a little snowman charm. But I'm not going to melt it. Anyways, this is more Christmas, but my brother went to a Mega Mart in Vegas and it's meetable arrangements, pettable arrangements. And as you can see, I love cats. So yeah, thank you, Aaron. And let's go to just a few Amazon finds before I get to the good stuff. I'm just into the Titanic. So I bought two books. And look out for my Titanic Museum video coming out eventually. It's funny, I went a while ago in March, and I still haven't uploaded it. It's, it's already February, time flies, but my brother went a couple months ago. Their video is out. Check out Pete's Treasures. But yeah, I picked up some more Titanic books online because I just love learning about it. And they'll just sit on my bookshelf. I also wanted to show that on TikTok, a lot of people are selling these soaps from Mexico. This guy was selling them for $15 each, and I found them on Amazon and eBay. I ended up getting them for about $25 for six soaps, and they have sponges. Supposedly, it's good for acne. Now, I don't know if I got fake ones, but there's different packaging. But that was kind of a drunk splurge. So, has, have any of you ever been on a drunk splurge or, you know... You're just feeling good, if you know what I mean, and you buy some stuff randomly. I almost, this same night, I almost spent $75 on chocolate. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, Hammond's chocolate bars. I still might buy them, but anyways, we'll see if those soaps do me any good. But yeah, let's go to what I got at flea markets, and then we'll do Christmas. So... I didn't, I've been buying a lot less, which is good for me, but we went to Trader's Village in Houston. 
and actually this was at Kohl's in Pearland, Kohl's Flea Market. I got this Lamperger lamp for a dollar and it came with the box. And Lamperger is a bolo. I've sold like five or six, some for 50, some for over 50, some for less. And you just can't sell it. It's one of my only Veros. They said you can't sell it internationally, even though I did send one to the Indonesia or Philippines, I forget. I think it was Indonesia. But yeah, I just looked it up. I think this one is called a petticoat. It's frosted glass petticoat. And I think I can get about 30 bucks. So that was for a dollar. This was also for a dollar. It's just a little bitters bottle. And I actually already have one of these, but I think it's so cool. It's like a ball and claw. Little bitters bottle for a dollar. And this, I grew up playing with this toy at my friend Scott and Ben Picton. And yeah, I just remember growing up with this and I think it's Taco Bell. Doesn't say on the box, but I bought it for $2 at the flea market. I didn't wanna haggle. I did haggle with these, they're Shopkins and I don't need them, but it does have more than just Shopkins. That's from, ooh, pardon the nails, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this is from Angry Birds. No, that's Draw the Line. No, oh, y'all tell me what that's from. It's from an app. I got some Shopkins. She, I thought she said 15 cents each. So I thought I was going to pay $3. She said $8. And I said, would you do 5 She said yes. So I didn't want to spend $5 on these Shopkins. But I did find a little Popples. I think that's called a Popples. And I thought these were interesting. Little bitty things that are throwing up. I want to learn more about it. So for five bucks, I at least help someone, you know, earn a living. And I'll just put that with all my other Shopkins. I think they're cute. And let's see what else. I also have always wanted this. It's from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And it's this little moose mug. She had two of them. She said $5 each. I said, would you do four? She didn't look happy with me. But I like shaving a dollar off here and then. So she did give it to me for four. Another guy right after me said, oh, I wanted both. You should have bought both or something. I just ignored him. I don't know. I just wanted one. I don't need two of these. They sell for about 10 to $15. So it wasn't worth me reselling, but I've been wanting it. But anyways, another thing I got, this was at Trader's Village. It was just a little pineapple. I thought it was funny. He gave it to me for free. This was also at Cole's Flea Market. This is a tiki van, and look at that. It slides. I, he said $20, and I left it, and then I, I had to go do something for work. And I told my brother, I can't find this van anywhere. Can you go see if he'll take 15? And he didn't, but I said, okay, buy it for 20. Now, this is from Planet Toys, and it's a 1974 Ford Econoline van. And it was remade in 2006. And it's got tiki's on it. You know, I collect tiki. I can't find this anywhere on Terapeak, reverse image search. Um, I'm a little sad because it does have some, you know, We'll just say the van has seen some things. And one of these windows is a little broken. But besides that, it's in great shape. For 20 bucks, hey, a tiki person like me. I actually like, car I'm getting more into cars because my friend Hayden loves cars and he can tell you what this and that car is without even thinking. It's kind of crazy, but I do eventually, maybe soon, want to put this up as an auction or maybe very high price because tiki people love their collectibles. I just think it's really cool. I didn't want to leave it behind for 20, especially since I didn't get a lot. Oh, this is something I bought at Pop Shop. I wanted to show you all this from a place called Endless Teas. They do a bunch of gachapon, which are little toys in Japan. And I wanted to get these fruit bats. And man, I wish I could collect them all. This was like $8. It was a blind one that he opened up. He can You can open them up on his pop shop. But yeah, these are the names of the different fruit bats. I guess I got the kiwi. 
wiki. It's cute. And it shows if they're rare or not. And I got a common. I want to see. I want to get the hyper rare. I don't know where you can buy these. Amazon, they're super expensive. So every once in a while, maybe I'll buy one from him. I also ordered cookies. They were pretty good. But yeah, speaking of little figures, Aaron, uh, he said, do you want to buy a blind box like I am? And I said, yeah, this was $8. I think either that or nine. And I love these Funko Pop ad icons. And we're going to open it together. Got this from um, Cole's Flea Market. I really want the big boy and the hostess donut guy. Donut guy. Not quite sure who he is. I've been wanting the Tootsie Roll Pop little bird owl. I'd also love the Kool-Aid man. And yeah, I already have the Jolly Green Giant stuff. There's Fruit Brute. Yummy Mummy. I think I would like any of these except for, don't really care for this pirate dude. I forget what that's from. Can't even read it. Can y'all make out what that says? And I don't really want the Jolly Green Giants because I think I already have the Sprout. I think his name is the young kid, uh, the younger one. So let's see what I got, drum roll. Oh, okay. Awesome. I have the Tiki Mug of this dude. I'm not mad at it. I would have liked a different one, but hey, it's just a fun little box. So yay, I did my blind box. All right, time to show y'all what I got from my brother and my sister-in-law in Houston. They know I like Coca-Cola and I got this little tin. I don't have this tin. It's a little vending machine. That's pretty cute. Thank you, thank you. And he gave me five little Holly Hobby glasses. I want to say these were sold at Arby's, but I'm not sure. Arby sold a lot of Christmas glasses. And my mom gave this to them, and they didn't want it, so I got it. So thank you. I really love this. It's so funny. Mustard Monster. Very funny. I love it. They gave me this, and they know I'm into Tiki. And they, uh, they asked, is it Tiki? And I said, no, it's not Tiki, but it's still pretty cool. Thank you so much handcrafted in ghana i like the hat because it reminds me of a mushroom i don't know why and of course uh this is going to be one of my go-to mugs all i want all i want is to sip my coffee and pet my cat that's what i'm doing this weekend and they got me some amazing candles they got me palo santo because they watched my video and they saw me a couple weeks ago i got palo santo body wash Smells so good. So thank you for that. And Peach Bellini, my grandmother that passed away about two or three months ago. She loved drinking Peach Bellini, so I always think of her. They also got me some Kraken rum. I actually want to stock up on more rum, so thank you. I have the Kraken Attacks Texas. Now I have a regular bottle. And let's see. Oh, and a shower beer holder. I'm actually going to put this in my... I I've got to try it. I'm actually going to put it in my shower and have a shower beer because life is too short and enjoy yourself. Just do it in a sensible way. But thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Let me know who you are, where you're from, what's your favorite thing I got, what did you... Uh, what's your favorite flea market to go to? Because I want to travel. And let me know. Let me know anything else. Let me know if you think my cat's cute. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.